KES talking to Glenn Sanders, who has one of the big hits of the show. And uh, tell us a little bit about it, Glenn. Well, what we have here is the ZaxNet system. And ZaxNet is a system that combines all of our wireless and recording products together. So our Diva recorder, our Mix 12 console, as well as our Mix E, and our wireless are now a single system. And the functionality of the system is much better than the single parts alone. What can you do with it? Well, there's a few things. With the system, I'm able to take a transmitter and I'm able to remote control the gain of that. Mm -hmm. So as I control the gain of the transmitter, you can see that the gain changes. Oh, you're controlling it from the mixer. Right. Right from the mixer, I'm able to control the transmitter gain. So if, you're, if your scene suddenly gets uh, loud and you weren't prepared for that, now you can do something about it without blowing the take. Absolutely. During the scene, from hundreds of feet away from the actor, you're able to remote control the gain of any of the transmitters. And each transmitter would have its own knob on the Mix 12 controller. And you can also program the Diva itself yeah. so that its eight knob will control the mic freeze of up to eight transmitters. But more impressively, we're able to utilize the recording functionality of the wireless transmitters mm -hmm. now along with Diva. So that when Diva goes into record, yeah. the wireless transmitters also go in record. Oh, well, the, the transmitters that are actually in... Oh, all right, because you've got chips in the transmitters, right? Exactly. So now we're in record. The Diva's recording. The transmitters are recording. And I'm recording a tape. And when I hit stop on the Diva, all the transmitters are going to stop as well. Now, if during my record to the Diva, I had any type of issue with wireless transmission, whether it be dropouts, interference, maybe I simply didn't have a fader up when someone adds lift the line, I'm able to very simply go into the Diva just by hitting the Q menu, and I can hit a button called Wireless Audition, and when I do, what happens is all of the transmitters play back, which is what you're hearing right now. Now, and so they can then be recorded onto the Diva hard drive. Exactly right. So if I have any issue with the recording, I'm very easily able to fix that problem after the fact. I can audition the audio before I re-record it, or I can choose to re-record it multiple times. When I do the re-recording, the Diva actually takes the information and puts it into a special note in the metadata so post-production knows exactly how to deal with the re-recorded file. And it's time code uh, stamped as well? Time code stamped and all audio is subframe accurate. So what we've really done is eliminated the possibility that you have to say to the director on a show, I need another tape. With this system, you, you don't get it the first time, you immediately can fix it or even hours or days later because the transmitters hold 96 hours of uncompressed audio. So the system for this, is it shipping now? It is shipping now, and you can start with something as simple as the Diva or Fusion and our wireless system. You have to have the IFB transmitter. You do not need the mixers, although the mixers are quite nice, and uh, form an entire integrated system. Uh, what's a uh, startup system go to cost? I realize it's probably a range depending upon uh, how many transmitters, how many receivers, how much of this and that. Sure. Well, a Fusion starts at $8,000. The IFB transmitter is a little over 1000 And the wireless channels run roughly 34, I'm sorry, about $3,800 for a transmitter and a receiver. Uh, it gets to be a little bit less when you buy multiple transmitters or our four-unit receiver, which is there. Right. So it doesn't really cost much more than competing systems, but the functionality that you get is unparalleled.